um, I just wanted to show people that are trying to make these cells a little something. If you see, hopefully you can see in there, this thing is on. It is producing almost nothing. This is significant. You'll see why. You'll see that my amp meter is showing zilch. Okay. Why I'm showing this to you is because what I've got is pure distilled water. Of course, it says paid on there. Um, compared to the tap water I was using earlier. The tap water does not need anything added to it. It's at least out of my house because it's got enough junk in the water to significantly um, increase your hamperage going across there. But I want to show you this is a pinch baking soda. You see, a pinch. I'm going to tap that down in there. Okay. And, oops. I've got this little deal here I'm going to use to kind of mix that up. pinch might not be enough to do a whole lot and it's just a little bit of baking soda but then you can already see the difference in the production and I don't know if you can see it on this meter here but it went up just a hair in amperage but look at the difference in production here not too bad not great but so we're going to add another pinch baking soda Let's see what that does to our production Increased yet again. You can see it bubbling in there. And we went up just a hair more. Now, this is a crappy amp meter. It doesn't really show you a lot, but you can see the difference right there in how well it's bubbling. Basically, I did this video. This is my Bronco. I've been hooking this system up to see what kind of fuel mileage I get. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adjusting how much baking soda I put in there to get it to where my amperage is around 15 amps, 20 at the most, and we're going to continue testing our fuel economy. So, there you have it, and uh, we'll see how she goes. I will keep you up to date. Thanks.